Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is a requested video on how to do ring pop in Publisher using the same exact measurements as I did in my Cricut video, um, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it in Publisher. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is insert a square and I am going to use these measurements here. So the largest square that I'm going to do is a height of 6.5. And my width is going to be 4.75. Okay. I am going to then do a shape fill of red. So now I'm going to go and insert all the clip art that I'm going to use for my project. I will show you this file because it is really an awesome file for um, the amount that you pay for it. You get all of these numbers and letters here. So I did want to just show you guys the file that I got from Etsy and it was $1.86 and you get 110 PNG files. So it is really an awesome deal. I'm pretty sure this promotion that they're having on their site might end pretty soon. So it's always something you can get even if you don't have a Paw Patrol party coming up. You can always get and use uh, at a later time, especially at that cheap of a, a rate and they also have you know other things on there my little pony i did buy the blaze when i did the gable boxes and the bubbles i also purchased from of them as well and so you know um everything's on sale right now so check it out um, but i did want to just show you that and i will put a link down below in the description box The Paw Patrol paw prints and then the Paw Patrol scene right here. Those are the only two that I downloaded uh, from Google. And then I will also add in the uh, um, pups. The space you're going to use for your design area is going to be this. So I'm going to change those measurements now to a height of 2.5. And then my width is going to be 4.75. Okay, and so I will add in all the clip art that I'm going to use. I am also going to go ahead and insert my logo and my barcode. So for my ring pop, basically what I'm going to do is go here to recolor, set transparent color, and click on the background. Okay, I'm going to take my two. So regarding anything that you add to this portion or this portion of your design, you want to make sure that it's flipped horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to add my two, and I know it's in the middle because of that pink line again. Okay, so I'm going to go to rotate vertical, rotate horizontal, and I'm good. I'll do the same thing for my thank you for coming barcode. Okay, I know it's in the center because of the line. Rotate vertical, rotate horizontal, and I'm good there. So then I add my shield here. So please don't mind this picture. It is the only one that I had of my son in a Paw Patrol outfit. So I just went ahead and used it and removed the background from the picture. But I'm just going to show you guys uh, how basically I added him to the shield. Um, even though like his pants and everything was um, kind of showing there. So I don't want it to look like that I want it to look kind of like that so I'm gonna go here to my format 
to my crop and then I'm just going to drag this up to where I want it and then I'm going to bring my bone to the front. Okay, so now it just hides everything else and then I added his name here uh, in a word art. This one typed it out in caps. So that is really the only thing that I did for my um, green pop. Okay, so here is my printout on glossy paper. This was my test print and this was on regular copy paper. So, you know, it still looks decent on copy paper. It really would be up to you how you wanna do it. Um, so I'm just gonna trim around uh, the edges here. Okay. I got these ring tops from the 99 cent store. My Dollar Tree did not have them for some reason. Um, so I'm just going to take down both sides. But on the edges, I'm only going to do one. Okay. So I'll take my ring pop and I'm just going to go towards the center. I'm going to connect these two. So this was really, really easy <laughs> with the copy paper because it just is more flexible. Um, so please don't give me a hard time. Okay, I'm gonna match it up. Ooh. This glossy paper is so stiff. And then I just like to fold it down like this. So it'll kind of look realistic. It'll have this same little flap right here. So just fold that in together on both sides. Okay, now you have your ring pop wrapper. And then if you want to use your crimper, there you go, all set. And there's always a little bit of room to trim the edges if you need to. This one looks good. Okay. So that's the front and this is the back. And this is a uh, copy paper. This is glossy paper. As you can see here with looking at the two, don't mind the picture because the picture is horrible. It was really, really bad quality picture even before I did anything to it. So I'm sure the quality went down after that. I just chose to use it because it, he had a Paw Patrol outfit on. Um, and it was like three years ago. But anyways, as you can see, like based off of uh, looking at these two together, this one is a bit tighter with the... Um, the glossy paper so if you wanted to you could go like maybe a quarter of an inch um, more on it so it doesn't have that give but it's really up to you I mean ultimately it does fold and it comes out nicely this is the copy paper again still comes out nicely um, here's the back side of both of them the glossy paper does look more realistic in comparison because it is, you know, the actual paper on the ring pop wrapper is uh, glossy. But otherwise, you know, it still it still looks good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions regarding 
you know how to do the ring pop wrapper please reach out to me below in the comment section thank you guys as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video